I didn't set out to write a book about solving South Africa's problems. Um, I just wanted to radically critique the status quo and radically critique the Zuma years. Probably the most controversial myth is that the ANC liberated South Africa. This is a story we've all been told at various points. If you've grown up and you're 20 something, that's the myth that this whole country was founded on. I think one of the interesting things I did was uh, on Marikana, where I spoke to a few different people who were involved. Obviously, my father was involved in the legal representation of the injured and arrested minors. So sitting down and speaking to him about his experiences was really interesting. This project is quite a personal project to the extent that my life has been in a lot of different compartments. You know, I was a rapper, then I kind of left rap and I started studying, and then the whole politics thing happened. And it took me a while to kind of find out how do I combine all of these different parts of myself. And for a while I thought, you know, if I go to Oxford, then, you know, you can't be a rapper and go to Oxford. Like, that's just not right. But part of it is breaking through the stereotypes and trying to do something different, both with scholarship and with music. One of the things I realized, ironically, when I was in Oxford was that there's a certain limit to writing and there's a certain limit to text and how far it can really change people's minds. But when you're listening to music, you're in a completely different mind state. One of my criticisms with hip hop is it's misogynistic, it's patriarchal often. So what I really wanted to do was also ensure that I got the incredible people who are gendered as women in our society who also are spoken word artists or rappers to have their voices elevated on the album as well. So I've got people like Dope St. Jude, who's an incredible artist out of Cape Town. Lebu Mashile comes through, spits an incredible original poem on the song about land. So that was certainly one of the aims with the, with the features. I see it as part of a wave of conversations. Of course, students have started the conversation around free education, for example, and that's one of the topics that I challenge and I tackle in the book. And I argue that free education is not only feasible, but it's actually relatively unaffordable. So in some ways, I see myself as continuing the conversation that started but I also start a number of new conversations and the book tackles 10 different issues. And I just wanted to paint a picture of how dramatic I feel the failure has been over the last 10 years. But as I was doing that, so many solutions became eminently clear as I was researching, solutions that other people haven't spoken about. And so what I really ended up wanting to do was invigorate a fresh conversation, a new conversation, bring in new ideas that nobody's talking about because that's ultimately what we need in South Africa. We've heard all of the same stuff, especially young people have been fed all of the same stuff for so long. I wanted to spark a new debate, introduce new solutions, and hopefully change the course of the conversation in South Africa, especially among young people. People are definitely going to be outraged at a lot of the things I say in this book, but unlike in many cases, you actually have to engage with the ideas. They're presented before you, there's evidence for them. You can go and read the things that I cite so it's not gonna be easy to just dismiss it because it's really quite carefully crafted. It took me three years to write this book. It's not just some book that I decided I wanted to write last week. And the same with the album. To get it to where it is really took a lot of thought. So to write a book and make an album at the same time is no easy thing. But I think my great hope is that it changes things in South Africa, is that it really does explode onto the scene. Um, this book is not in support of any one po political agenda. It's not funded, you know, as people have said, by the EFF or whatever, despite the fact that some ideas are sympathetic to shifting our politics in that direction. I just want to spark a new conversation amongst young people. I want it to be a credible conversation. I want it to be a researched conversation. And I want it to be a different conversation. And what people do with that, I'm not sure, but I just hope it will invigorate the political conversation and infuse it with fresh ideas which I think are sorely lacking at this point in our history.